to RTA Motorsports. Hello everyone and welcome Crashers RTA Motorsports. Welcome back to the stream. We are uh, we're in iRacing racing right now, and you can see we have the GoPro strapped to our head. Um, our endless goal of trying to make you guys feel what we're feeling as far as immersion, what's going on with this rig. We have a motion rig here. We have now a 32 by 9 um, ultra wide monitor. So I just I'm trying to convey as much as I can to you guys. Um, what's going on here so you guys can get an idea of what we're going through as well as um, if you're thinking about a similar setup kind of what it seems like when you're sitting in it So we're gonna attempt uh, an IMSA race we Did a little bit of practicing today with the Corvette C7 Daytona prototype um, I Don't know how it's gonna turn out. I have no idea um, we don't normally fare well on our first race back in iRacing, um, but we're gonna give it our best shot because, well, I think I think we could actually finish the race. I really do. Um, let's see, and let's change the view. I do have stream up here uh, on a few different sources, so if you're gonna see me looking around, um, trying to kind of converse with you guys with chat as best as I can. And uh, we'll, we'll just do our best. Let's see, let's keep that right there. And yeah, let's switch views and let's see what it looks like. Hopefully uh, all is well as far as the view goes. I'm trying to look down. I do have the stream up here. Let's see, let's see. A little bit of delay with the stream. So it always, t it always takes a little bit. Kind of have stream catch up with you. I want to make sure this camera's in the right place. It's not too bad right there. I kind of like that. All right. All right, so we'll have, uh, let's see, let's let's have our hand in this. I know the race should be starting any moment. Get our belts on. We were practicing before with uh, one of you guys, Fabiano, there you go. I was just about to give you a shout out. You already showed up to the party, man. So, um, if I read that correctly, uh, I think you're a class A. So I don't know if we're going to be in the same split, uh, especially because we don't really go in I racing all that often. Um, so our I rating is not as high as it probably should be. We're a class B license. I, I, I would like to get up to a class A. And let's make sure. All right. Fabio, there you are, right in front of us. Look at that livery. Look at that paint job. There you go, man. Uh, so we're going to be kind of ducking out in just a few minutes for the start of the race. Let's get a few practice laps in, make sure. All right, people are already starting to stop. I don't know if that's because they're letting us by or. Ah, we ruined that one. We ruined that. I'm over here trying to read chat. Uh, what did that say? Uh, well, I'm not gonna put you to slow down and give up the time game. Yeah, that's Joshua. Let's see. All Corvette is at the same split. Oh well. Hopefully, I don't embarrass you live in front of everybody. May happen. Could happen. You never know. 
And by embarrass you, I mean me flipping endlessly, end over end, off the track. <laughs> I won't blame it on this setup because your setup is absolutely awesome. And it's kind of changed this car's feeling big time for me. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate that. But I, I, I hope I don't make myself look foolish is what I should say in front of everybody. With iRacing, so that's that's the one thing people don't understand. With iRacing, you have to practice. You really do have to practice before you jump into a race. Um, it requires some dedication. That's why it's hard. That's why iRacing is a little bit more tough. Uh, there's 153 people registered for this race session. I'll race I'll try to race as consistent as I can for you guys thank you buddy Fabiano is actually a really good driver in this I don't know, um, I mean his license definitely dictates that he's, he's had a lot of really good experiences in iRacing. Us on the other hand, we're still, uh, we're always kind of like getting our footing. <laughs> That's not what we want to do, we don't want to drift into corners. My goal for this race is to make it to the end in somewhat of a competent fashion <laughs> and actually have the car survive it. That's the goal. See, we used to race the IMSA predominantly in the Porsche 911 RSR, and uh, which is fun, you know, a lot of fun. Uh, this race session should have started already. There we go. All right, so now it's warning us to get out of the car. Pull over on the side here, nice and safely, out of the way. Let's join the race. Um, that's a really nice car, nice car to learn and everything like that. I enjoyed that car big time. Um, but, you know, when I first got this monitor working um, and we kind of like were messing around with the different sims, setting up the uh, field of view and everything, I drove this car um, which we kind of ignored. We haven't driven this car for a long time. Um, driven it around the North Life, and honestly, uh, I was so impressed by it. I had so much fun that uh, I was like, I need to drive this in IMSA. <laughs> Why am I not driving this car? Um, this car is tricky, though. It does have, if you're not running a setup, um, it does have a, a like a bite point to it where it will bite you if you're not paying attention or if you do the wrong thing. Oh, man. I gotta put like a little pad under here or something. This corner is uh, digging into my forehead. That's a, that's pretty uncomfortable. But we'll we'll kind of deal with it. I don't know. I'm, not, I'm even thinking about shoving just a piece of paper in there. Feels like plastic is digging into my forehead. But hopefully, I didn't mess up the uh, the camera itself. Let's let's check that real quick. All right. So we got a little bit of practice left on the session and then the eight minutes of qualifying two laps and then the race is 45 minutes long so uh let's see I'm, I'm waiting for the stream to kind of catch up here make sure that we're actually that doesn't look half bad okay all right Group of 60 cars. Remember, you can change the ARB inside the car if, if you think, I mean, if you need. Wow. 
Wow, 23 week nonstop practice to Daytona 24. Wow, Fabiano, that's that's crazy. That's dedication. Oh, three weeks. Okay. Do they split the race into smaller groups? Group of 60 cars. This is gonna be crazy. This is gonna be crazy. We're gonna have a lot of uh, a lot of traffic, without a doubt. A lot of traffic to kind of sift through. All right, practice is over. All right, so now it's gonna be qualifying. We got eight minutes um, to do two laps. Let's jump in and real quick, I wanna set this mirror. I have a feeling I'm gonna miss that. Now, I know I can set the ARB in car, but um, I need a... No, that's pretty good. All right, so we got the mirror kind of at a decent place at least if I could see someone coming up next to me. I still have to set all the buttons here for the wheel and the sim. Like black box is not even working right now with the funky, the funky stick. So I want to be in the 142s. I think for us that's pretty decent. First lap, so I'm not hearing my spotter at all. That could be potentially dangerous. Nerves are already through the roof. Oh man. That definitely costed us some time. Forty two is where I want to be. Now 
That was a 144. Not the best. So I was a second off from what I wanted, 143. There's the flag, it's over. We'll take it. Um, not really where I want it to be, but I think it's gonna be decent. Um, hopefully that puts us with the other Corvettes in the starting. Uh, let's go to options here. Let's see if we could adjust the sound issue that we're having. Uh, let's see. So it's not, it's not, um, kind of, it is what it is. We're just having issues with our little, um, USB audio device that we're using. <clears throat> At least we could hear the car. That's, that's kind of the more important thing because we can read the spider's calls. Uh, let's see where we're ending up so far. Yeah, we're all the way to heck down here. Uh, there's some Corvettes still haven't put their times in, but Fabiano, <laughs> 141. Dude, you're killing it. <laughs> Solar 7022, how you doing? So key bindings for the McLaren wheel. Well, we haven't done any. <laughs> that's part of the problem that is part of the problem we haven't really done any um actually let me see if i could put my pit speed limiter here and um headlight flasher let's stick that up there but we haven't really done anything uh black box previous at least we could adjust that the race is going to be starting in just a few moments. Uh, Lorenz Klein, oh man. He just got Fabiano by a little bit. A uh, little less than a half a second, like a quarter of a second faster. So they're going to have one heck of a battle up front. How many laps is this race usually? 57. All right, here we go. One lap to green. Line up on the left side. Speed so uh, we're going to be lining up right behind Fabiano because we're a part of this this class. But um, really, you know, there was a lot of guys in the GT3 cards that were faster than us. So. We'll see. Look at this. Jovan Kine got a 141.9, and he's right behind us. 
Andre Montero got a 142 in the GT3 cars. So those guys are flying too, without a doubt. <coughs> oh, this is awesome. We forgot to bind the look left because we just changed it to flashing. So flashers, so. Darn it. Oh well. As long as we can look right. Here we go. Hopefully uh, we don't ruin it for these guys up ahead of us. Try to stay consistent. I'm going to let people go. If, if they're faster, I'm just going to let them go. I want a nice clean race. But this looks absolutely amazing. I know the GoPro is kind of boosting some of the colors. Uh, and that's not what we're seeing here. The colors are a lot more natural looking. iRacing is very, very well known for their natural appearance. So, um, you know, I, I still have to adjust some things there under the Pro Tool settings. Looks like we're having some issues with the stream, but I can't do anything about it now. We're just going to have to roll with it. I apologize if we are having issues with the stream. If it starts skipping, it should stop skipping shortly. Good luck, everyone. Good luck. Good luck. Stream should be clearing up. We just got the green light. I apologize about that, guys. Stream should be uh, getting better. I don't know why that happens. It's just maybe I have too many things kind of on the on the uh, router at the same time. But uh, we'll we'll get that all figured out. We're right behind Fabiano, I think. I think this is him right behind, uh, right in front of us. Um, Laurent Klein is right over there, front right with the uh, blue and yellow car. Uh, he's qualified first. Uh, Fabiano qualified second. Um, Robbie Crenduff, hopefully I'm not murdering his name, Karen Duff uh, is third. We are fourth. Ryan Broderick is fifth behind us. So. Ready, going green. I wonder if you guys could actually hear the spotter. It'd be interesting to note that. The pipe carries in. Green, green, green. Here we go, here we go. Green light, green light. Right side. Still there. Hold your line.
Oh no! I am out, Captain. I think I just saw Fabiano spinning off the track. I don't know if he got taken out or what happened. Everything should be good now. Stream looks like we have green light. Again, guys, I'm not exactly sure why that happens from time to time, but it does. Sorry, Ted, I didn't expect this time on the brakes, Ted. Thank you. See, we're holding Robbie about a second back, second and a half. So far, we're holding it. Last lap was a 143.366 or a 336. That part of the track is so rough and you can actually feel it coming through the rig. slow down way too much there. It. Don't lose it, Crash. Come on now. Fabiano's coming up quickly behind us. He's only about five seconds back. A 
I'll be interested to see on the replay what happened. And they both went side by side into this very dangerous chicane up here. My gosh. I don't know how we managed to save that one. That was a close one. baby we're on lap five of several more to go Aviana's three seconds back. Last lap was a 143.744, a 7.74. I don't know why I keep messing with the times. I'm way too focused on the race right now. I think we were having issues because before when it was getting kind of skippy uh, because I was watching on the phone at the same time and just overloading the router. Alright, as soon as Fabiana gets a little bit closer, I'm going to let him on by. Without a doubt, he is. He's faster, so I'm not even gonna hold him up. Come on, buddy. Go, go, go. Thanks, Brett. Let's get him. 
No problem, man. No problem. You gotta know your place, you know what I mean? We haven't had much practice. We just literally practiced an hour before this stream. He helped us out big time. With the setup, he didn't have to do that. And I know he's faster, so. I would like to see him and the lead guy battle it out. Yellow flag is out. Poor guy got hit again. Well, I don't know what the first issue was caused by, but. Something happened with a GT3 car just now. Looks like he has pretty decent damage. Hopefully he's not out of the race. Currently in second place.
Last lap was a 143.9. Completely slid that one in. have to stop for fuel soon. Says we got about six laps left of fuel remaining. Look at OBS while you're racing. <clears throat> hey, Mark, how you doing, buddy? We're in eye racing right now. <laughs> A 
That spun GT3 got you. Sorry, man. I'm sorry that happened to you, Fabiano. Right behind Gabriel. Let's see if he'll uh, let us by pretty easily. Right side. Clear on the right. Woo! That wasn't the smoothest pass by us, but wanted to make sure we had enough room. Got Jovan Keen coming up right behind us. Very fast GT3 car and driver. It's only about two and a half seconds back. That's the one thing I do like about IMSA. Um, it's not this huge disconnect between the different classes uh, as far as speeds. You're not like dodging cars because they're going so darn slow. They can be driven at a very comparable speed. Ryan Masser. Gotta be careful here. Got about two laps of fuel left. We're starting to get a little loose. Um, probably because I'm overdriving the heck out of it in almost every corner. <clears throat> that are too hard on the brakes. 
but we're almost about the point where we're going to be pulling in. We're at lap 16 now. Uh, next lap is when we're going to go in, get some fuel. Big brake lockup. Not good, but we're going to be going in the pits right now. Okay. Pit stalls all the way up there. We're back out. Let's see. Got a nice little hole here. We're come out in. Nice. Gotta love new tires. Oh yeah. For everything's going pretty smooth.
Got about 13 minutes left of this race session, 45 minute race session. We're in second place still. Planning on going out wide at it. I didn't know if these people were gonna overly battle it out and spin. Kinda saw some aggression there. He's gonna let me up on the right, but I guess not. Come on, baby. Eleven minutes left of the race session. Much of that curb. That's a really cool paint skin. Miguel Ayala. Yellow with purple wheels. That's pretty neat.
We're following the Porsche 911 RSR Andre Montero to Seven minutes left. Glad he made it back. Five minutes left of this race session. out way too wide and picked up some garbage on the tires. You can hear it kind of hitting the inside of the fender well.
got nine nine laps left with our fuel, but only two minutes left, so we're good fuel-wise. Actually, didn't have to put as much fuel as we did. Pressure, water temperature, everything is looking good. Hmm. We didn't have to break there. That's costed us some time there. Got Cyril Rodriguez about two and a half seconds behind us in a GT3 car, and then Robbie Carinduff is right behind us, right behind him. Only about 2.8 seconds behind us. Um, the Corvette C7 Daytona prototype is a lap down. He had an incident earlier behind us. White flag is out. Nice race, guys. Nice to meet you, White flag. White flag. We got a toy car on the left. Big incident there. Big incident right on the white flag. Jorge, Jorge, Jorge. Out of fuel, man. Oh, they're going to be angry. They are going to be angry. We got George Blasco Valls right behind us, about 2.3 seconds. 2.6, 2.7, we're kind of pulling away from him a little bit. That's cool. Huge incident. Right on the white flag. They're putting it all out. They might know each other, to be honest with you. Ah, oh, kind of messed up that turn. And there we go. Checkered flag. Second place finish. I, <laughs> I can't even freaking believe it. 
Okay. On a race, um, I didn't think we would be ready for. Um, obviously, we were slower than the lead guy, and Fabiano was much faster than us. I didn't even try battling him. I just let him on by before. Uh, all intents and purposes, I think I think we did uh, really well, really well. I think um, we still need some practice to be really competitive with the uh, the lead cars. But I am very, very, very happy with our performance there. At least we were able to hang with them, you know, have some fun, do a nice race, and uh, hopefully not get in anyone's way. I mean, we, I mean, we finished second, so um, hopefully that means that we didn't hold anyone up. But uh, yeah. oh, that was awesome, <laughs> Fabiano. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you so much. I just seen your message on iRacing. Well done. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I really wish uh, that GT3 didn't catch you when he spun out, but you know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm sure of it. You could have uh, done a really impressive battle for first with that guy, but um, yeah, with your setup, I don't think we would have been able to finish this race. So I am... Okay, the race is over. Bring it on in. Very, very happy. Very, very happy. Ah. Oh. Woo! <laughs> All right. Awesome hel helmet camp. Thank you so much, Carlos Gassaway. How's it going, man? Uh, let's see. Let's look at some of the other comments here. Woo! Yeah, Metalition. We we had to get it in. We had to get it in real fast before we uh before we would switch it up. You know, I love Watkins Glen. Norman says, hey, Crash, I've got to tell you that head-mounted GoPro really gives us insight into the motion of your rig and what you're experiencing. Awesome. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, it was... It was... You know... It was expensive. I mean, they're not cheap. But um, I feel that it was a... Really um, important sort of um I'm, I'm like lost words because i can't believe we got second place right now uh <laughs> i mean granted there wasn't a lot of corvette c7 daytona prototypes on the track at once but i mean i'm i'm like freaking out right now but it was an investment to the channel to try to convey what i want to convey to you guys um so i'm i'm really happy it's it's working out So Fabiano says wrong brake bias at the start too destroyed my race. I'm that that stinks, man. Sorry that happened to you. He was really fast too. I think him and that guy um, really could have been battling it out for first and second the entire time. Uh, let's see. All right, so everyone's starting to uh, starting to get out. Um, so yeah, so that's what happened. Wrong ba brake bias at the start destroyed it for him. Um, he probably was trying to hammer on the on the brakes there to get into that turn to try to beat that guy, and uh, you know, unfortunately, the setup kind of got him there. But I, I'm. They were quick. They were much quicker than us, but. Uh, I'm so darn happy. So darn happy. Let's see. Go, Crash, go. 
Oh man. What desk do I have? And monitor. So uh, the desk that we have here, uh, to be honest with you, this this whole desk that wraps around from one setup to the other, uh, this side's my wife's setup, this side's my setup, um, is just from uh, Ikea. It's an Ikea desk with the, the corner unit, so it wraps around. It actually measures out just like a foot and a half away from each wall on both corners, so it fits almost all the way around and works pretty good for what we need. Um, we have file cabinets, so that works pretty good for us. Uh, so yeah, in the end, result wise, let's see here. Uh, we finished second um, with the Corvette C7 Daytona prototype. We gridded fourth, we started fourth. Overall, I don't think it gives an overall, let's see. I think overall we were like sixth, but being that there's different classes here in our class is how it, how it kinda. So how long have I been streaming? Looks like we've been streaming about an hour and 20 minutes so far. Um. Oh man, Fabiana, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Again, I cannot thank you enough for your help. You uh, Middle Eastern VR85, he has he has a YouTube channel as well. Definitely check him out. Uh, he says he prefers the challenge of the Porsche 911 RSR in IMSA. That car is, it's a lot of fun because it feels like he could do a lot. And then it has like a really, really like knife edge. If you overstep that boundary, you're going around. Um. Second is just first loser. <laughs> Metal Come on, man. Oh, man. Awesome. And the monitor is a Samsung CHG90. I uh, just saw that question come through. It's the 49 inch super ultra wide, 32 by 9. Um, expect a review coming out soon about that. Fabiano, definitely, definitely. I wholeheartedly agree. Um, I want to build a community here with you guys. You know, I know there's a lot of other communities for some racing, but, you know, it'd be really cool if we could get something uh, going, you know, a race with all of us. And, you know, if the channel grows a little bit more and we get a dependable group of guys that comes into the live streams and whatnot, um, I want to start, you know, getting some servers and maybe some hosting some iRaces and uh, maybe some other... Um, races as well. I think that would be really cool. Metalition, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. I know you're just playing. All right, everyone. So I'm Crash. This is RTA Motorsports. Thank you so much for joining in. I'm going to get going. This is uh, the high point of the day, so I'm just going to ride this wave out. Thank you so much for everyone and all of your support. Thank you again, to Fabiano. He gave us the setup that uh, I think kind of held us on the track and helped us kind of get to the uh, to the finish and on the podium and uh, as usual consider subscribing hit that uh, like button that reminder bell because we post a lot on the community tab or or we're going to start posting more on the community tab and i'm going to try to let you guys know of future streams on the community tab if not we're you know depending on time constraints i may just jump in um but yeah definitely hit that reminder bell so you can see posts when they come through on there and yeah, like Fabiano said, let, let's get let's get a race going, guys. That would be amazing. So as usual, see you all next time, and I hope you enjoyed this new setup here. Definitely leave your comments on uh, whether or not you like the fixed cam or you like the ride-along sort of GoPro cam. We just picked this up today, so hopefully this investment is uh, paying off in portraying what we're experiencing to you guys. Hopefully, hopefully, because I, I feel like I have a dent in my forehead right now. <laughs> see you all next time, guys. Thank you.